what's going on my youtube family so as you can see from the title uh, how to overcome any fear by the way um i'm going to show you guys i'll write all this stuff down just so i remember i'm not reading off the internet or anything because I, you'll see me looking at my phone a bit it's just so i remember everything but it's not because i'm reading off any internet scripts or anything like that these are when i give you guys these tips and these advices and things these are things that have really helped me in my life um and I just want to share it with you guys because I've, I've been through everything that I talk about I've been through and, and, and these are things that help me so uh, how to overcome any fear I know there's a lot of people a lot of guys a lot of girls out there that you know they want to do things with their life but for whatever reason they haven't got the confidence to do it you know maybe think maybe they're thinking it's you know they're, they're not going to succeed or what if it goes wrong and all these things so I want to give you guys uh, four four little tips that will help you guys that's really helped me so number one do something else that you're fearful of that isn't as bad as your main fear and that will help you become confident so what do we mean by this do something else that you're fearful of I want to use an example we can use anything really going to the gym talking to women let's say you're a man you know and you and you and you you work with a colleague that you think is really good looking you know you really like her or you go to the gym every day and you see her and you think oh I'd love to have her or, or any of these kind of things you know um, but you're really scared to talk to her because you think oh, what if she doesn't like me or this could go wrong or any for any of these reasons what i would suggest you do just in this example and this will kind of make you guys understand what i'm trying to what i mean by this is i would I suggest you go out there talk to maybe three or four women that you're not that attracted to that you find you know that you're not trying to impress and that will boost your confidence to really talk to this woman for example it could be any but it could be anything so let's say for example you want to start going to the gym you've gone into the gym you've seen that there's a lot of big guys in there pushing some big weights and you feel like mm, I'm really skinny or I'm overweight you know I'm gonna look like an idiot I'd suggest you build up your confidence do other things that you do other things to build up that confidence so for example the gym I'd say go out go out to places like this go and do get, get to learn things you know get to learn some techniques go and do some press-ups sit-ups running cardio swimming do all these kind of things build your confidence up so you can go into the gym and feel like okay you know what I can go and do this so go and do other things that you might be fearful of um, just to boost your confidence then go and do the main thing hope that was a good example um, have conversations with at least three random people a day that'll boost your confidence um, I do this all the time. I love, I love, but I love talking to people. You know, I go to places. I'll go for like walks. You know, in the country, things like that. Or I'll go to like a shopping centre or something, and I'll end up, you know, just talking to someone randomly. I don't say I don't go out of my way to go and make conversation with people. But if someone is, you know, I don't know if someone's like. Uh, what happened the other day? There was a guy. We was in the shopping centre. Me and the wife, and, and there was a guy in the. Um, guy in line with us and we were standing there for ages and he kind of he looked at me and I was like and then from there I just started talking you know I said oh it's fucking terrible isn't it like the service and then we just started talking and he started telling me about his kids all this kind of thing and you know and I have conversations daily all right maybe not three people if even if it's one or two people you know that really will boost your confidence you know and you'll be able to talk more you'll feel more you know full like more out there more open to, to meet new people and all this kind of you know all this kind of stuff and but it just it leads to boosting your confidence basically uh, the next one affirmations affirmations really really fucking helped me um, at first I, I didn't think they would I thought what is this uh, for those that don't know what affirmations are have a look on YouTube write in affirmations for you know confidence anxiety um, for money and it's basically you know in our in our subliminal in our subconscious mind you know all the negative pe you know people that we've met over the years we've got all that stored in our head so you know let's say for example you say you know what I'm gonna be the biggest bodybuilder I can your subconscious mind is saying you'll never be that you know or, or I want to be like Arnold I want to be like as big as Arnold Schwarzenegger something like that and your subconscious mind is saying nonsense you can't do that you can't do that affirmations you listen to them what I do is I listen to them I'll go for a walk for an hour or so and I'll just listen to them and they're basically telling you you know I've, I've got one on this channel actually have a look at my videos I've done one um, affirmations for confidence and something else um, but basically you listen to them put them in your ear and they're basically telling you you can do this you can do that or I, I am I am confident I am strong all these kind of things but you listen to that and that just kind of reprograms your subconscious mind to, to become a positive person and that really will boost your confidence as well so affirmations is a big one um, 
the last one uh, stop overthinking and go and do it so uh, stop overthinking and go in to do it so yeah pretty self-explanatory if you've got something that you really want to fucking do go and just do it stop overthinking it and it will make you feel so much fucking better uh, an example I can use let me think an example I can use I so I think like the same thing with the gym um, where you know you could sit at home and think you know what I'll never be big and I'll never be as strong as some of the guys in the gym and this kind of thing you know it's taken a long time uh, I think I don't know what to do you know, I would just go and fucking do it go and hammer it because you know what you'll feel even more shit afterwards that you know if you let that let that um, let the chance go of you doing it let's say for example you can go in the gym and you've met someone that is willing to train with you and help you but you've got this thing in your head about i'm never going to be big and oh i don't know what to do i'm never going to be as big as the other guys all this kind of thing you know, i'm just using this as an example you could let that chance go and that person could stop going to that gym or give up and, and say you know what don't i'll give up with you you know you do it yourself or whatever you know so you could let that really ruin that chance you know so instead of like sitting at home dwelling on oh i wish i could do this or i want to do this but i don't but this but that and making all these excuses go and fucking do it honestly just go and do it because you know what you'll feel so much better so just a quick recap as always let me just uh, go back into it so number one do something else that you're fearful of um do something else that you're fearful of that isn't as bad as your main fear so like we said if it's talking to women if it's going to the gym psych yourself up for it do other things that you might not like doing you know maybe go out and train yourself or go and talk to some you know women or that you're not attracted to these kind of things and just build your confidence have conversation with at least three random people a day this is going to boost your confidence See, i know it might sound silly but it really does even if it's not three but if it's one or two that will still really boost your confidence stop overthinking and go and do it no no sorry affirmations so like i said download some affirmations from youtube there's a fucking bunch of them out there put them in your ear listen to them go for a walk and they'll just reprogram your subconscious subconscious mind to showing you that you can do whatever you want and the last one is stop overthinking and go and do it just go and fucking do it stop sitting there saying what here for but and making excuses just go and do it and this will really really help you guys so these Four tips will help you to overcome any fear. Peace.